In 2013, a Russian internet millionaire funded a conference in New York with an extraordinary aim, to see if a system could be created that would allow him to live forever. If there is no immortality technology, I'll be dead in the next 35 years. Top neuroscientists, robot builders, and researchers were invited. How long you live really does matter. How could you increase what we're able to do? If we repress our body with the machines, we can survive forever. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. The ambition was to unlock the human brain, extract the mind, and upload it to a computer. The ultimate goal of my plan is to transfer someone's personality into a completely new body. It is possible to preserve memory and personality for thousands of years in storage. Look at that cerebellum right there. Isn't that neat? Frozen in time. Meet the immortalist. My name is Dmitry Iskov. Within the next 30 years, I'm going to make sure that we can all live forever. It's too stupid. It simply cannot be done. A waste of time, a waste of money, and it's a waste of our humanity. As our ability to connect brains to technology grows, is it so crazy to think we could live forever in machines? I'm 100% confident it will happen. Otherwise, I wouldn't have started it. Trying to make the impossible possible starts in the imagination. My biggest dream when I grew up was uh, to be a cosmonaut, to fly into outer space and to explore new planets. That sort of dream has always been with me. There was an interesting book and the main hero took some immortality pill and he ended up flying on the orbit of Earth I remember myself questioning what I was going to do if I'm immortal. When he grew up, Dmitry Itzkov became an internet mogul. He says he now spends part of his fortune trying to bring about immortality. Not everything can be disclosed by the moment, but yes, I've been funding uh, the science with my own money. We're talking about millions of dollars. Dmitry is one of a growing number of the mega-rich who are funding their own scientific projects.